Introducing the Cine Collection version 3. Here's an overview of how to use the presets in Adobe Lightroom. So we're going to use Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. This does work with other versions of Lightroom, but make sure you check the software requirements. So start with your image in the Develop module. You can use the Auto White Balance and Lens Correction presets to quickly correct your image, and then you need to manually adjust your exposure. And now you can apply your preset. The Cine Collection version 3 builds on the work of its predecessors. It has greater colour contrast between the warm skin tones and the teal, blue and green neutral and dark areas. These subtle corrections give a natural look to your images. There's 15 grades to choose from, and there's also a plus version. Now the plus version is good if you're shooting in a neutral picture profile or a picture profile with lower contrast. Once you apply your preset, remember to readjust your exposure and readjust the temperature. These presets rely heavily on colour, so adjusting the temperature can dramatically change the colour output of the final image. Feel free to customise any of the other settings in Lightroom to suit your image. You'll also notice we have the Cinebars presets. Now these are personal preference. So this image is in 16x9, so if we add a 235 x one Cinebars preset to this image, it's going to add the black bars at the top and the bottom which is just enhancing the cinematic look. And you can reset this by pressing on the Cinebars reset preset. We've also taken some feedback from our customers who said that they wanted more control over the grain in the Cine Collection version 3. So none of the presets come with grain and instead you choose from one of the two grain presets. We've got Cine Grain 1, which adds a fine grain. You can really see it when you zoom in. And we've also got Cine Grain 2, which is a bit rougher and this emulates a 35mm film look. And again, you can reset this by choosing the Cinegrain Reset preset. Now, here's another example from one of our community members, Paul Feely. He took this beautifully cinematic shot of this woman on a bridge. So I'm going to start off with the auto white balance and lens correction. I'm going to turn up the exposure just a touch, and then I'm going to choose one of the presets that I like. So I think Cine V3.6 is nice for this. And as I said before, remember to customize the settings. So I'm actually going to warm this up a little bit. And I'm going to bring up those shadows just a touch. So we see more detail in the brick. I'm going to apply the fine grain to this image. And instead of using the cine bars, I'm actually going to do a crop of 2.35 by 1. Let's just adjust the viewer. And we have this lovely widescreen image. You can check out more of Paul's work on our site or by visiting the link in the description below. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our team on our website. Welcome to the Cine Collection version 3.